Yo, what's good guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. So today we're reacting to Finland might have solved nuclear's biggest problem. Uh, honestly, I don't like nuclear bombs. I don't think a lot of people do. Um, but yeah, you know, let's just watch because, you know, just nuclear bro, it's just, I don't like it. That radiation, all that, I'm just not a fan. Uh, but yeah, if you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, let's watch. It's an immense project. Since 2005, Finland's been constructing the largest nuclear Damn. reactor in Europe. That's like 17 years. That could solve the problem of what to do with spent nuclear fuel. When you think nuclear, the Nordic nation doesn't immediately jump to mind, but if all of its planned projects come to fruition, then by the end of the decade, the country will be second only to France in terms of the percentage of energy drawn from nuclear systems. After more than a decade of delays and cost overruns, 2022 will see the world's happiest country switch on one of the planet's most advanced reactors, potentially kickstarting yeah. a new age of nuclear power. That's crazy. This is, videos like these Finland scare me in a way. Finland actually has a long history with nuclear power. Its first reactor came online in 1977, and by 1980, three more were operational, providing a third of Finland's total energy needs. While these reactors are among the most efficient in the world, running at a 95% capacity factor for the past decade and continually being uprated over their life cycle, growing yo, demand... Why is, yo, Finland's just frozen. This place. I want to see the summer shots. And the seasonal of fluctuations country. of other renewable sources like hydro and solar has left the country relying on imports from Russia and Sweden Damn. to make up the balance of its energy needs. To lessen its reliance on foreign energy and help meet its goal of carbon neutrality by 2035, the Finnish government approved the construction of what was meant to be the world's first third generation pressurized water reactor, or ERP at its Okiloto nuclear plant, known as OL3, in 2005. Ah, oh, this reminds me of the movies. initial cost of 3.9 billion US dollars, OL3 was to nearly double the plant's existing output and provide 14% of Finland's energy needs when it became operational by 2010. But while OL3 Damn. was the first EP... Yo, I just heard Elon Musk sp spent like 40-something billion on Twitter. This guy can definitely build nuclear power plants if he wanted, and generators. It's crazy. No, but I do. I I wonder a lot, like, because bro, solar energy is just overrated at this point. Everybody's like, yeah, solar panel, solar panel, but like for people like Finnish people, like it's just always snowing. Like for most of the time, at least. So you can't tell someone like that, yo, get a solar panel, like, you'll be cool. That that only works in countries where it's always sunny, like Africa, or Africa's not a country. I know a lot of people be like, yo, Ajibu, like, it's not, like, most African countries are sunny. So yeah, those countries like that need a lot of panels. But aside from that, other than, like... But then I don't really like nuclear energy, though. But I let them do what they do as long as it works. Ahead of other next generation reactors in France, China, and the UK, complexities surrounding the design, defects in safety systems, and contractual disputes led to over a decade of delays. And in 2018, China's Taishan 1 became the first EPR reactor in the world to start operating. It's always China. Despite these delays and the cost swelling to over 10.2 billion US dollars, OL3 was granted an operation license by Finland's Radiation and Nuclear Safety Authority in 2019. And in March 2021, 116 tons of uranium began to be loaded into the reactor ahead of its final testing phase. Once it's connected to yeah. the grid and the reactor begins commercial production in early 2022, the countdown will be on until OL3 begins adding to Finland's spent fuel stockpile. Yo, this is this just reminds me of like those Nuclear movies. Nuclear power is an incredibly clean way to produce energy, but it does create a byproduct, and it's the one problem we've yet to truly solve. That doesn't look clean to me. After though. three to six years, irradiated material is no longer able to sustain a reaction as a viable fuel source. 
and new material must be brought in to maintain the reactor's efficiency. But while it's unable to generate electricity, spent fuel remains highly radioactive and needs to be isolated for hundreds of thousands of years to prevent Damn. it causing harm to people or the soil. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember like some people like for the for this type of to like not really recycle but to trash these nuclear stuff. They get like these like huge um round they look like bullets but like cut off and then they just load in all that nuclear waste and then they cover it they bury it deep underground that's what most of like that's what most countries do I'm sure finland does that too although spent fuel can be re-enriched and re-enter the fuel cycle the main way we currently deal with radioactive waste is to simply store it in pools or sealed dry storage facilities while it slowly decays while these methods keep spent fuel contained, it's not a viable long-term solution as the system is heavily reliant on mechanical and human intervention and even under the strictest conditions it can be vulnerable to attacks of terrorism or natural disasters, the kind that led to the events at Fukushima in 2011. Damn! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, this is where that nuclear bomb hit. That's crazy, bro. It still looks like this after like, yo, that's crazy, bro. These bombs are crazy. It's been, yeah, I don't, I don't like this. With an estimated 250,000 tons of high level waste already in storage around the world, and with no long-term strategy of dealing with it, many countries have chosen to completely rule out nuclear power when it comes to meeting their growing energy needs. Damn. In an attempt to solve okay. this, since 2005, Posiva, a joint venture between Finland's two nuclear power providers, has been constructing the world's first deep geological repository for spent fuel in the billion-year-old bedrock not far from OL3. Funded by charges collected from consumers through electricity sales, the one billion US dollar project that's due to complete in 2023 will see a series of tunnels extend half a kilometer below ground, creating a permanent oh, nice disposal here. facility for spent fuel. Now, while burying nuclear waste might sound alarming and may cause concern to environmental groups, the process at Onkelo is so much more than simply burying the problem. Based on a Swedish disposal method known as KBS-3, irradiated material is placed into boron steel canisters and enclosed within yeah, 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 yeah. This is what I was capsules talking about. before being buried in individual holes and backfilled with bentonite clay, entombing it forever. No, Once but I imagine there's that one, like, scientist or whatever person, the people that be exploring, like, buried treasure or, like, fossil fuels uh, not fossil fuel like fossils they just stumble upon this thing they're like yo we hit gold it's like the egyptian king left all his treasures in this little cannon looking thing they open it they die like that's i don't know it's just i don't know it sounds weird to say it like that well i mean i'm sure it, it'd be too hard to open but i'm that, that, that's a possibility someone could do that but yo I mean, I guess good luck to people who do that. No further mechanical but that'd be like in the future, future. Required to contain the radioactive payload, essentially eliminating one of the biggest barriers many countries have when it comes to adopting nuclear power. Look how much a barrier. Well, I mean, the capacity to accommodate the luck looking for space too. Years worth of Finland's accumulated spent fuel and the needs of its existing reactors until at least 2120, at which time the facility will be permanently sealed. Onkelo appears to provide a viable long-term solution to dealing with nuclear waste. Described as a game-changer for the industry by the director of the International Atomic Energy Agency, the lessons learned at Onkelo are being shared with other countries, and regions with suitable geological characteristics are being considered for similar disposal sites. Having seemingly solved the biggest drawback of nuclear power, and with a sixth reactor already planned to begin construction next year, Finland looks set to play a leading role in the widespread adoption of nuclear technology okay. as the world continues to transition away from fossil fuels. This video was powered by Bluebeam. You can learn. All right, that's that's crazy. You know, like something that'd be cool is like 
You know, I heard there's like, um, there's bacteria to eat, like plastic, but like it's, it's not as effective. I mean, cause if that was the case, all the plastic would have gone missing already. But like, if there was like, I'm just, yeah, this is an example. It's not even, if it was real, it'd be cool. Like bacteria to eat nuclear waste. That'd be cool. Cause like, I don't know. It means we can use it as much as we can. Cause if, if it just eats, cause they be bacteria that eat like, uh, like I said, plastic. So, but like, I don't know. I don't really see people use that a lot. So I don't know. I guess just burying it for now is cool. Just watch people just start throwing things in space. So, but yeah, um, solar energy, even though I said it's overrated, it's pretty cool because it's just put a panel outside and you're cool. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. If you made it this far, thank you and have a nice day.